Welcome to Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Games. Today we are playing a channel favorite, Dominion. Uh, so yeah, I haven't played Dominion in a while. Um, it's such a, a brain-burning game. I love it. But I've actually been playing a lot online with a fellow viewer. Um, and uh, man, really learning a lot. Uh, honestly, I have a lot to learn about this game. It is very complex. I mean, it's so simple. It was the first like deck building game, you know, kind of brought that mechanic to the world. And it's still, I think, one of the hardest to master. I feel like I have a good handle on Hero Realms, uh, which is basically just a center deck deck building game where you have a center deck and you're just kind of buying cards, more tac you know, more tactics. This game, you know, is a little bit more strategic. Like you really have to know how to build a good engine. But anyway, the reason why I'm playing this game today is because Seaside Expansion is free and it is unlocked. And I have a list here in front of me. And I've played quite a bit of the expansions on this channel. And one of the ones that I have not played is Seaside. And boom, it's free. Let's do it. And the reason I have to wait till they're free, I, I do want to buy all the expansions. Like, I want to support this game. I want to support the devs. But if I bought every expansion, it's like over $100. Like, that's that seems like an extreme amount of money to pay. I'm not making any money on this channel. I'm just doing it for the love of the game. Hopefully inspiring better people than me to actually make a channel about board games, uh, you know, digital board games, and and do it better with like editing and and clever wit. But anyway, um, so I kind of have to wait for they they kind of show up in their free rotation. Um, longtime viewer of the channel has asked me if I wanted to do a recording of Allies since they bought Allies, and you can play against other people with the expansions that you bought. And I do want to try to set that up, but I'm honestly a little intimidated because uh, I cannot beat him for the life of me. He is just so good. I think I might have beat him once, but it was a fluke. Anyway, um, Seaside. Let's check it out. So this expansion includes 26 Kingdom cards, and basically it's about setting up your next turn. Uh, and there's cards that do something this turn and the next, and it's basically about kind of setting up your turn. Already going to be really hard for me, I can tell you already. But it's kind of cool because this expansion kind of lets you step outside the bounds of a normal turn. And I kind of like that. I like the expansions that, you know, you think you know everything about Dominion. And then an expansion comes out and you're like, I had no idea that they could add this mechanic. And I, and I like the expansions that do that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get the game started. I'm going to kind of start off a little easy. I'm going to do base game and seaside. We're going to go to the players. And I think we're just going to do a two-player hard AI um, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. I have a hard enough time beating this game against one opponent. I, I can't even handle, f you know, two more. So we got base, seaside. That looks like it's set up correct. Let's see what we get for the kingdom. I can tell you right now, it looks like we got a few new cards, but not too many, but maybe that's for the better. I don't know. I kind of like getting a lot of the new cards because it allows me to really get in there and and experience the expansion. But anyway, let's just look at this. Uh, workshop, gain a card costing up to four. Classic. This one's a new one with the little anchor icon. So each other player discards a copper or reveals a hand with no copper. Each other... Uh, okay, well, you actually discard a... I was like, how is that an attack? Then we got the old militia. We got the money lender. Basically trash a copper, gain three. Got the smithy. The ban man, a lot of attack. Bandit, gain a gold. Each other player reveals top two cards of their deck and trashes or reveal treasure. Library. Drawn to you have seven cards. Skipping action cards. You choose. Uh, set them aside. You know, I might... I mean, honestly, I think I'm going to do a different... Because I only got two cards of the new set. So let's go ahead and resign. Sorry to disappoint you. All right, uh, let's do rematch. There we go. This looks a little better, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of new stuff. Okay, so now let's do it. Pearl Diver. One action card. Uh, one card, one action. Look at the bottom of your deck. You may put it on top. Very thematic, but I'm not sure I'm excited about that. But it does give you a card in an action, so it it's kind of replaces itself. Oh, wait a minute. 
I was gonna say, I wonder if that happens, this happens first, then you can do that, but I think it all happens in order. One action, look at the top three cards of your deck, trash one of them, discard one of them, and put the other one back on top of your deck. So look at the top three cards, and trash one, discard one, and put one on top of my deck. Interesting. Bureaucrats, base game, silver. Uh, remodel, trash a card from your hand, gain a card costing up to two more than it. Um, sca or salv salvager, one buy, trash a card from your hand, plus one per gold it cost. Interesting. The old she hag. Each other player discards the top card of their deck, then gains a curse into their deck. Whoa. Whoa. That's nasty. All right, two cards, one action. The mine, trash a treasure from your hand, gain a treasure uh, to your hand, costing three more than it. Outpost. Okay, this is a duration. So if this is the first time you played an outpost this turn and the previous turn wasn't yours, then take an extra turn after this one. You may only draw three cards for your hand, for your next hand. That one's going to be interesting. Plus one card, plus one action. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Trash and or discard any number of them. And put the rest in the back in any order. Okay, this one's good because it kind of you know, gives you a card. One action kind of replaces itself. Unless you kind of cycle through that deck. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play all the treasures. Man, Sea Hag. Mm. One buy. Trash a card from your hand. Okay, this isn't really going to help me. Remodel, trash a card from your hand, gain a card costing up to two more than that. That's not really going to help me either. Um, gain a silver into your deck. Each other player reveals a victory card from their hand and puts it into their deck. Or reveal a hand with no victory cards. Gain a silver. I'm trying to think if that's worth it. I think I'll do it. Do I do the silver or the the lookout? Look at the top three cards of your deck. Trash one of them, discard one of them, and put the other back. Yeah, I think being able to thin out the deck isn't a bad look. Let's try out the Pearl Diver. All right, what's hard AI doing? Ooh, Sentry. Oh, uh, man, they did buy the Sea Hag. Let's do it. All right, so let's do the Lookout. Um, so we can Trash. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, that guy's, that, that's worth money. Eh. Well, you know what? Let's just discard that. We'll trash the copper first. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, trash one, discard one, top deck one. <clears throat> and then we can play Sea Hag. Oh, yeah, get rid of that sentry. And we'll do a silver. I kind of like to look out, honestly, but I don't think I need more than one right now. I do need some card draw. Yeah, laboratory would be nice. Is there anything that would draw me... Anything? No. I mean, other than Pearl. Alright, this one looks like a good hand. Trash one and or discard any number of them, but the rest back on the top of any order. I think Sentry would be kind of nice.
I think I'm going to do mine, though, because I do have a lot of silver I could upgrade into gold. But I do need to trash more. All right, so maybe the next time I have an opportunity, I'll do a little bit more trashing. Oh, I wonder which one I'm going to trash. The curse. Okay, that looks good there. Pearl Diver. Um, going to decline that, I guess. So I think I will do Sentry. Just because Hag's out there. Just being a Hag. Alright. Do I want to... It's like kind of a weird setup here. I just don't know if getting another turn with only three cards is like that exciting. You know? Like if this is the first time you played an outpost this turn and the previous turn wasn't yours and take an extra turn after this one and only draw three cards for your next turn. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt. I, I, I feel like this would be better if I had a little bit more card draw to kind of make up. Well, I guess... Uh, I was I meant to look at laboratory because I was like a laboratory does give me two cards in an action, so uh, maybe okay. So trash, we'll discard, we'll play all these guys. I think I will do the outpost. I'll just get one to see how I feel. Okay, let's just look at all of my cards. So we're gonna do sentry first. Oh, you don't shuffle. Okay. Look at the top two cards of your... Oh, it's Sentry. I thought it was Lookout for a second. I'm sorry. My brain. All right, let's do this. Uh, We're going to just decline that, put that back on the bottom. Okay, and then play Treasure. And let's see. Do I do another hag? I don't know. I do like Lookout, honestly. Got the four gold. Should I try to start kind of focusing my deck and then doing some remodel? Or, or uh, this one, plus one buy, trash card from your hand, plus one per gold it costs. That could be good if I got rid of some, some bigger cards and then maybe tried to sneak out two win condition cards. Let's do it. Oh, there, I got my mine. Yeah, laboratory is really good. I should have been buying more laboratory. I just totally forgot. All right, let's do a mine. Um, should I turn this into silver? No, let's turn that into gold. Play treasure. And we'll do another silver. All right, so here we go. Laboratory, the best card that we, th I ha we have in the kingdom right now. We have Sentry. Um, hmm. Let's trash the copper. Let's put that back on top. Let's do the pearl diver. Let's keep that on the bottom. Now, I'm not going to be able to get anything additional. It does give me the buy still, which doesn't matter. I have no money. But I can still trash the... That guy. So it's not the end of the world. Two, four, six, eight. Who do you appreciate? Providence. Alright, let's go ahead and play our treasures. I think I'm going to get a point card because the old computer there is kind of being annoying. I might just buy a hag. I should just... I should just like buy, make the smallest stack of just all hags. Just burn them out. All right. Um. So we're gonna do lookout. Um. Kind of want to trash that. 
Uh, let's just, I gotta discard something. All right, let's do that. Do the bureaucrat. Play the treasures. More gold. There we go. Man, they're just hagging me. Just constant state of haggis. Alright, so we're gonna play all. Sneak that out. I'm gonna play that. And then... No more curses, because I got them all. And we'll end the buys. All right, so we'll do the pearl. Not gonna win. Um, yeah, put that on top of the deck. Let's grab a duchy. I mean, really, I'm just playing. I mean, as soon as he can buy this, it's over. Okay. All right, so we can do one card, one action. That ends. This one does two. This one. Okay, so I got a couple cards that keep me going. All right, so let's do the century. Um, let's do done. Let's do pearl. Let's top deck that. Let's do the mine. Make this as gold. Play the treasure. I should have. I. I, mm, I should have did century first, then laboratory. All right. Stay poor. Stay poor. Ah, the game's over. There it is. Yeah, if I just had a little bit more time, I felt like I might have been able to be a little bit more competitive. Let's look at the decks. This is my favorite part. All right, so kind of a potpourri of strategy. Yeah. Yeah, that makes total sense. Um, so yeah, laboratory, you know, a pretty, I wish I could like zoom in on what the cards are. So this was the draw, this was two cards, one action. Laboratory is really cool. So one thing that I learned is that cards that don't end your actions are pretty powerful right cuz like you get to play them so this laboratory gets you two additional cards into your hand plus it replaces its action right i mean it would be better if it gave you two actions so potentially you could play both those cards but the fact that it lets you look at two cards which could be gold you know or could be you know treasure and gives you an action back it means it's not going to end your action phase right same with the uh, you know pearl diver you know same with uh well, mm, not lookout. Um, same with Sentry, right? And not only that, but it gives you an additional ability. You know, being able to cycle through your deck, trying to build up good turns, maybe keeping bad cards on the bottom, moving the ba you know, good cards back to the top. Um, you know, Sentry, and then Lookout, um, you know, doesn't give you the card draw, but it is kind of a decent card because it really does let you control a lot about your about your next hand coming. You can discard card, you can trash it, you can leave one on top. So kind of interesting, I like it. But yeah, laboratory, pretty awesome. So as you can see, and again, this is why I'm, I think I'm, you know, I have a hard time playing this game is because I'm kind of all over the place. I love how the background changes every time you pick a new expansion, look at that. Anyway, uh, go back to score. So let's look at their deck again. So if you see, they kind of focus in on Laboratory, the Sentry, because Sentry is a, a fairly decent card. Um, gives you, you know, again, it replaces itself, plus it gives you another action, and being able to look at two, those two cards, and kind of, kind of gives you a bit more control than Lookout, because like you don't have to do anything, you don't have to, you know, it just gives you the power to do what you feel is best, which is nice. And then they did the Salvenger. So their deck could have been a little bigger. Actually, we do know for a fact that it was because they did have Sea Hag at one time in their deck, and that's why I had all the the curses. So yeah, they were really utilizing, you know, 
this guy and kind of thinning out the deck when it was appropriate, kind of and then you know refocusing in on just buying a bunch of a bunch of cards. I mean, look at that. Very tight, small deck. Very small. And that's what you want in this game. You want a very small, tight engine, efficient. And my deck, look at that, not small, not efficient. Made way too much silver, right? A lot of silver, and obviously a lot of these. But yeah, a lot of just just not not focused at all. Yeah. So that that's kind of I, I I don't know why it's so hard for me to wrap my head around that. But anyway, uh, this is Dominion Seaside. I, I like this expansion. I think the the cards that we've seen are very have have a lot of theme to them. Like Pearl Diver just makes total sense. You almost don't even like once you read the card, you just remember what the card does because it's Pearl Diver. Dive down to the bottom, pull something awesome up to the top if you can find it. You know this guy, Salminger. So it's like yeah, trash a card. You know, get plus one gold for whatever it is. Like you're salvaging what you find. Sea Hag. I feel like she's very much like a witch to me. You know, giving curses like that. So yeah, awesome outpost, you know, um, didn't really see the power in it. I think, I don't know, it, comment on what we could use outpost for. I, th I think it's one of those cards that you would really have to build a deck around to get its benefit because it's like you only get three cards. So it's like you either need to have a really tight focused deck where like you could probably kick off with just three um my deck was was not good it was too all over the place not consistent so maybe with a good consistent deck outpost would be good and i think it's a strategy that the computer probably would never try themselves but a human player could definitely use outpost to to some really good effect anyway this was dominion thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time